Bran is among those who greet Jon and Daenerys in Winterfell's courtyard when they return to the north. Having last seen Bran in a coma before leaving for the war, Jon rushes to embrace him. Following the tense exchange between Daenerys and Sansa, Bran states that they have no time to waste. The wall has been breached and the Night King has taken control of Viserion. Soon after, Jaime returns to Winterfell and is shocked to see Bran. After a tense meeting with the council, who decide to spare Jaime's life, Jaime apologizes to Bran for what he did to him. Bran replies that he is not angry, much to Jaime's astonishment. Bran learns that he is seen to be the main target of the Night King, as, being the new three-eyed raven, he holds the memories and history of mankind and this is what the Night King wants to wipe away. During the Battle of Winterfell, Bran sits in the Godswood with Theon Greyjoy and the rest of the Ironborn forces guarding him. At some point he wags into a crow and observes the unfolding battle from above. After a long siege, the Whites finally overwhelm the majority of Bran's escort, leaving only Theon as the sole surviving defender. As the Night King finally stands a few feet away, Bran calls to Theon, telling him that he is a good man, and thanking him for his efforts. With those last words he witnesses Theon making one last ill-advised charge against the Night King, who quickly disarms and kills Theon with the tip of his own weapon. The Night King finally crosses the gap between them, and Bran raises his gaze to meet the Night King's stare, the two finally meeting face to face at last. As the Night King reaches for his weapon, he senses something amiss and manages to catch Arya, who leaps out of nowhere in an attempt to catch him unawares. After a brief struggle, Arya manages to plunge the blade given to her by Bran into the Night King, causing him to explode and pull the life out of every member of his army present at the battle. Arya briefly meets Bran's gaze, relief clear on her face. After Daenerys is assassinated, Bran is part of the Great Council of 305 AC to decide the fate of Tyrion and Jon. Tyrion convinces Grey Worm to let the new king of the Seven Kingdoms decide Jon's fate and states that it is stories that unite people. He contends that Bran should be king because he is a reluctant ruler and has the best story, being the memory of the world. When Tyrion asks him if he will lead the Seven Kingdoms to the best of his abilities, Bran asks why did he think he came all this way. The council concurs with Tyrion and votes Bran as king of the Six Kingdoms, with Sansa asserting the independence of the North, which he permits. In order to repair the damage brought upon by his predecessor, Bran appoints Tyrion as his hand of the king despite Grey Worm's opposition. The siblings later bid a final farewell to Jon who is exiled to the Night's Watch by Bran, in order to prevent a war between his supporters and the Unsullied. Later, during the first small council meeting, he asks if they have heard where Drogon went. When they are unable to give a satisfying answer, he decides to look for the dragon himself.